Hello, hello, hello. We're running behind today. It's Tracy from Mindless Crafting and... For now, Bill. <laughs> For now, it's Bill. And uh, we are so happy to be releasing a new stamp set or two new stamp sets on this Friday. Um, so we're super excited. Uh, right now, it looks like it's going to rain. It's gotten really dark out. And for some reason, every time we go live, the rain just starts to just starts to happen. So yeah, we're super excited. I think you're going to really love this um, these two new oh, stamp wow. sets. Um, we're just uh, really excited about this. Okay. And so let's see who's here. Uh, we've got, oh, Margie's in the craft room. Nice. Mardell, how are you? So we got a, some, some people coming in. Um, let's see. Oh, y'all can see me okay. Good. I always ask if y'all can see me and hear me. Hey, Kathy Champion, I'm glad that you're going to be moderating. Katrina Ch Champion. So Bill is actually going to be running back downstairs to set up the store while I go ahead and release the stamp sets. And then he'll give me the go ahead to let me know that everything is ready in the store. Okay, so let's go ahead <laughs> and release the new stamp sets. Okay, I'm gonna go All right, up. so You're up. let's see. I'm going to reveal it, y'all. Yeah, Here's yeah. the first one. I think y'all are ready for this. Now I got to go peek. Y'all wanted more stamp sets that were to make cards like masculine cards. So here it is. <laughs> I know. Jessica, more new stamp sets. We're on a roll right now, okay? Just the creativity is just coming and we're able to bring um, new stamp sets for y'all. Uh, and so this one, I wanted to um, do this one because I knew that many of y'all were saying, I need something that I can make for my husband or my brother or my nephew or my son, you know, or whoever's in your life, a friend, you know, so I wanted to make sure that we did something where we had something that you can make masculine cards. And so, yeah, look what we got, y'all. Bill, you know Bill helped me with this because guess what? <laughs> There's a remote on here. So you know Bill helped me with this. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so it's it's really um um I'm really happy that I could bring you this this stamp set. Um and this one is called His Stuff. I know that remote John, who's our artist, for those of you who don't know, we actually I mean, he had a one remote that had so many gadgets on. I was like, "No, John, that's a little bit too much." Okay? He was really going to put some real like a lot of detail on it and, and we had to rework it. <laughs> so, yep, there's the remote, y'all. Close up and personal. Hey, Margie and Tina, how are you? Okay, and so, yep, we wanted to have the little vest here too. I thought that would be nice with all the pockets on it. And guess what? He put stitching on there. Just a little bit of stitching. Relax, you deserve it. And how many of you just give cards like, I, I like giving cards to Bill, even if it's not like his birthday or anniversary or Christmas or whatever. I just like to give maybe a just because, but wouldn't it be nice to just say good job? Right. So it's something just says good job or hello, handsome. And then the motorcycle right here, the motorcycle, y'all. I'm going to have to make my brother-in-law one of these, uh, a card with the motorcycle on it. <laughs> and then the hat. I mean, I just wanted something to be a little bit well-rounded. And then you got the sock. You can create patterns with the sock. And then you got the jersey. So wait till y'all see what I did with the jersey. Okay, so thank you so much, LeChat. Good to see you on here. Asia, I still have to give it to her. I had to, <laughs> I still have to give my sister the card. Asia's asking me a question. Yes, yeah, so... Um, let me show you what the next stamp set looks like. Let me show you. Oh my goodness. Y'all. So if you have his stuff, you have to have her stuff too. I mean, it just makes sense, right? 
You got to have her stuff. You just got to. I mean, if you don't have his stuff, you got to have her stuff. So how many of you, look at this. How many of you remember this purse right here with the little clip thing? This right here. And the dress on the hanger. So I wanted to give you all a dress that had a hanger. And I wanted to have the words hang in there. Plain and simple. Just hang in there, right? <laughs> That's a wonderful card, I think, to send to someone that's just maybe going through something and you're just trying to tell them, look, just hang in there. You'll get through it. And then pursue your dreams. Look at that. Purse. Get it? Purse. Pursue your dreams. There it is, y'all. The nail polish. Shine on. And then I wanted to give you all a shoe that you can color in or you can actually stamp this out on pattern paper and cut it out. And I wanted to give you a solid shoe where you could stamp it in color and then walk in your purpose. Walk in your purpose. So let me see what y'all are doing. I know the shoes, we had to rework the shoes. And I'm not even going to tell you the story behind the shoe. But I had to keep reworking and telling John to like, it needs to look this way. You know, it was a big chunky shoe at one point. I was like, mm -mm, I need a shoe, <laughs> a regular shoe shoe. So I hope y'all like this. His stuff and her stuff stamp set. That dress though. And the nail polish bottle. Can you imagine making a couple of these? Shine on maybe for a women a women's event. And then having the, shine, the, the nail polish on there. And then maybe adding some glossy accents to it. Something like that. Thank you, LeChat. I'm glad you love it. Yeah, we've been really creating it. So I told you all that we were putting out four stamp sets a month. So this is number two and number three. So this, this month, this month we were going to be putting out four stamp sets. So Bill is downstairs right now, Brian. <laughs> he's setting up the store. So he's going to tell me when everything is ready. So just so y'all know, also before he does that, uh, we did get some new... Uh, two new papers in for y'all. Let me just show y'all what we got here. Here's one we have here. Um, sorry, y'all. My cat is stepping on the computer right now, and so he's just completely lost everything. My cat jumped on the computer keyboard that I have set up here. Okay, so we have this, um, the premium uh, card stock, and it comes in all the different colors. This is the Bright Patterns um, card stock. And then I wanted to also get you some where you can make some of the card bases so you won't have to really um, think about putting the colors together. Thank you, Joanne. I'm so glad you liked them. Here you go. Here's the other one. This is a premium um, solid cardstock. So I wanted to give them, this one is called Botanical. So these, we are, um, Bill added these to the store too. And these will help you kind of like, where well, you don't have to really think about matching up your colors. You see that? Look at that. So there's 25 in each. And for those of y'all that have already ordered these already, these work really well together. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on so I can show y'all. Let me show y'all the cards. I made one for this one right here. I love that jersey. But you can use this. I would think you can use this for a girl also in sports, right? But just a card that says something simple that says good job. This actually, this one is actually for Bill. He doesn't know. He did a good job with my birthday. <laughs> he did a good job for my birthday. Um, I made another. Oh, you made it to our live. Good. Happy Friday, everyone. From Mimi B. She's sending out blessings and well wishes. She says, cute stamp sets. I'm so glad you like them. Perfect for teenagers. Yes, Jessica. I was thinking about that too. That this would be perfect for teenagers. 
Hey, Carmina, how are you? Hey to everyone that's coming in. We just released two new stamp sets. Here's the other one with the purse. This is what I decided to do with the purse. I just stamped it out on some pretty paper. Look at that. This would be nice um, stamped out on some nice army green paper, maybe something like this. Just thinking y'all. And this one right here. I am in love with that. So see, I just took some of the pattern paper and this paper is so fun to work with. And we have some in our store right now. I don't think it's sold out yet. This is that farmhouse market paper. So that's what I use for this. And let me show you the other one. That's what I use for this one. Look at that with the dress. Look at that layered look on the dress, y'all. I am loving that. Isn't that cute? So let's see what y'all are saying. Cute paper. Yeah, that paper, I'm really loving this. This paper right here. I'm, I think I'll create something. If y'all want to hang out with me, I think I'll create um, a card using this paper. I know, look at the purse, y'all. I just, I just wanted to create a pattern. So maybe I'll do this one and use it using a combination of something else. Oh, see, y'all do want me to hang out. <laughs> y'all want me to make a card with y'all. Y'all are going to keep me on here. I'm trying to not stay on for like three hours today. <laughs> I'm up. Everything's up? Yes. All right. Um, The cat jumped on the keyboard. And He's fired. Yeah, Get she, out. She. <laughs> okay, so y'all said yes, please. So let's go ahead and do some Friday crafting. You know I have to create a card, so... I'm going to pick out something. I want to make that dress again. Let me show y'all how I did that dress. Super easy to do that with the hang in there. So let me go ahead and get this ready for y'all. My stamping blocks. So they said they want to hang out, Bill. They said they want to hang out with me today. So this is called his, her stuff and his stuff. Plain and simple. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to make the dress a pattern for the dress like I did here. Nice for um, stamping these out onto a pattern. If you ever want to um, make something and you're like, I'm just not sure, stamp it out about the color, stamp it out onto a, some pattern paper. So let me go ahead and get that dress. And I have to remember if this was one of the stamps. Well, it was a stamp that I had to send back. I'm not sure if this was one of them. Because no. it didn't come out. Oh, it wasn't? Okay. So they bad. got it right the first time. <laughs> Every so often. Okay, so. Hi, LeChet. I was just asking. Hi, everyone else, too. It's just that I was talking about LeChet earlier. He was. He was like, I didn't see. Yesterday, actually. You're like, I, I haven't seen LeChet in, in, in a minute. Okay, so let me see. Stamp this out on some pretty paper. Ooh, this paper is beautiful. All right, Kathy. Kathy won't be able to stay. She has to go out and get shopping because of all that. Come on, oh, okay. Stuff. She got it. She's stocking out. Okay. All right, Kathy. That's all right. Do what you got to do. All right. Let's see if we can. Uh, get this stamped out and hey, make a pretty dress here hey she said let's hang out school is closed she's at home okay oh okay there you go asia we don't have any school kids anymore so we're good to go now okay i'm gonna just i think i'm i want my dress to be this color right now so let me go ahead and stamp that out Okay, and I'm going to do a little bit of cutting. Look how crisp and clear that looks. This is the beauty of having a great um, stamp set. 
Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp that out. Now I'm going to stamp one out on just a white piece of paper. Now y'all want to hang out with us? Bill, look how dark it is outside. I got no. a great view, y'all. It's gotten really dark out. Okay, let's get our card base. Let me get another. Get some card stock here. Get loaded up. And so everything's ready in the store. Uh, so what's going on? School's closed already for two weeks here in Japan. Hey, Elena. Doing her thing over there. She's trying to take it easy, hopefully. Okay, so let me make this a bit smaller here. Just thinking how much I want to measure this out. Let's Bertha see. Bless Wilson. She says she has that paper. Bertha Bless Wilson has some paper, okay? Bertha, this paper is great. Bertha is the paper queen. Um, for this this project that I'm doing. Okay, so, y'all, look how pretty it is on the other side of this paper. That's the only thing about the double sided paper. It's like, ah, uh, <laughs> it's pretty on both sides. I always say I'm gonna come on and I'm not gonna make a card, but then y'all. Y'all talk me into it. Y'all inspire me. That's what it is. I'm dying to see what you do with the motorcycle. Not today, babe. Not today. You said to get off early, so <laughs> not today. I mean, I I'll do that what tutorial. Man, what you do with this man thing, okay? Well, we can do that tomorrow, maybe, or the next day. Well, there you go. Bill is right there. You, you heard him say I it, said, right? I said you. Right. I said you heard me. him say it. I Y'all heard me say you. Yeah, but you. you had promised them. You remember? I Next know, Tuesday. But I was talking about something else. Oh, that would be great. Next Tuesday, then. <laughs> <laughs> y'all trying, trying to get out of it. She's railroading well, me. Well, they heard you say it, babe. Yeah, but I was talking about something different. Oh, okay. Well, I can't you remember what it was. Though. I know, right? Okay, so we're going to put this down here. <laughs> ah. Mimi B says double-sided paper makes her nuts because she can't figure out which one to do. I know. Okay, so once you have that on there like that, now this is where the magic happens. I'll still go back and get my sentiment. But you can just, all you have to do now is just cut out your stuff. So look how easy this is to cut out. Like says me, right? And I don't need to hang her from this. So I'm okay with the hanger on this one. I don't need it. Because I already have a hanger on that. So we're going to hang our dress up. And watch how this card comes together. Make sure I stay in the camera here. So what are y'all saying? Uh, <laughs> Deb C said, I need that motorcycle stamp in my life. That motorcycle, Can't wait to buddy. see it in use. I know. The motorcycle. Mark is going to love that. So what are y'all saying here? Let's see. <laughs> Someone said to Dave. Let's see. Oh, they, Margie said Bill make a card. I know, right? He's supposed to be making a card next Tuesday, y'all. Elena says her hubby's leaving the house at 6 a.m. and coming back at 5, so she's going to have... Enough energy for crafting after Mr. Kindergartner goes to sleep. <laughs> oh. Margie. Joanne. Joanne says she just ordered the stamp sets and the paper. Joanne. Thank you, Joanne. Joanne, Joanne got in there quick. Joanne, okay. Liz, Most of y'all wait till the live is over, but <laughs> who knows now? Sometimes things sell out before we get off the live. <laughs> Joanne Gilbertson attacked 
Dollar Tree yesterday. Did she, Joanne? So you had a nice little shopping just, frenzy, huh? Just tore Dollar Tree up. That's the word on the Joanne. Street. Oh boy. <laughs> Joanne, Joanne, Joanne. Did you leave Joanne, did you leave anything for us? No. <laughs> ah. Okay, since y'all are asking about the motorcycle, maybe after this card, I'll color in the motorcycle. At least color it to see what to show y'all what I do with it. Happy birthday, Jessica. Jessica's birthday is um is it the 15th, Jessica? I can't remember. Oh, am I too early? The 15th, I think. Well, okay. Well, in advance. Or, retro, <laughs> or retrospect, depending on which the 15th of this month. Sheesh. Yeah. Okay. So this is what I do with the dress. So I just layer it over this. And so now it's on the hanger. Look how cute that is, y'all. Look how cute. And then in case y'all were wondering where I got the flowers for this, the flowers actually came off. Let's see. I think I have some scraps left. I'm going to use my scraps. It's a loop. Oh, Are yeah, your library closed right today? Here. here are the scraps for this. Okay, so I'm going to use this. I already used some to cut out. So I'm this is a great way to use up your papers or make your paper even have more uh, value. Is You might see some of the images in here. And all you have to do is just go ahead and pick some of the images and just cut them out. And add them to your card. It makes a nice little something around your card. If that makes sense. So I'm going to cut into my paper here. This will make a nice birthday card, too. So, I mean, you could do you know, a little bit of everything with this. And you could also use it with um, the digital stamp, the Hello Gorgeous digital stamp, too, because that has a dress on it, too. So trying to give you all more of the clothing type stuff, more of the clothing type stamp sets. Yes, Lily Reed. Millie Reed's asking, are your things made in the USA? Yes, they are. Yes, they are. They're produced right here. Yep, right here in the U.S. Um, actually, Indiana. in Indiana. Indiana. Yep. You can't get it. Great, great company. USA in Indiana. Yep, manufactured right here in the U.S. I absolutely love it. The, and they do such a good job. So we just released the his stuff and her stuff. <laughs> We were like, what do we call it? His stuff and her stuff. So now you can take the little pieces of paper here and just kind of stick them down. Such a simple way to add some color to your card if you're thinking, hey, it needs something else. This is a good way to add something to your cards. Let's see, I'm pick, take something else out of here. Let's see. Kind of like this big flower right here. And these, these scraps, y'all, I'm going to use these scraps. <laughs> Bill knows I love to use my little scraps here. See, I'm going to use this part right here. I'm trying to stay in the camera. I'm going to use this part right here. Let's see. I might cut it down even more. Oh, Janet. Janet says this is the first live she's been able to see. I spent the month of January in the hospital and the month of February. Oh, wow. So we're, we're glad that you're able to tune in today. So glad you're able to tune in. Oh, she's been in rehab. Wow. Well, we're so glad you're here. Yep, so two new stamp sets for y'all today. Um, I can't wait to see what y'all create. <laughs> I can't wait because y'all y'all create some awesome stuff. And y'all give us so much inspiration too. So 
So, so what says, is yeah? What are y'all saying? Let's see. AKA Marine Boot Camp Rehab. No, not that kind of rehab. Ouch. Hi, Barbara Lane. Just gonna put this right here. A pretty thing here, maybe right there. See? I kind of like the angle of that. People saying wash your hands and stuff like that. Yes, exercise safety, everyone. Yep, y'all be safe. And caution. Just take care of the basics. That we're gonna keep keep crafting away so we exactly. can exactly uh relieve some anxiety. You Bill and I will be we were talking about maybe coming on a little bit, you know, maybe an extra live or two, you know, just to kind of be with y'all. And and I know some people have anxieties too. So, you know, just to be with y'all and just hang out. You know, yeah. crafting does relieve stress and it helps with anxiety. So I'll be in my craft room doing some stuff. And maybe I'll go live and just say, hey, y'all, I'm in here today and just kind of popping in. Let y'all see what I'm working on. Because our regular lives, for those of you that don't know, um, our regular lives are Tuesdays at 12 noon and Thursday at 12 noon. But we do pop in, especially to do a release sometimes, right? But maybe I can do some coloring. Coloring is calming too and helps reduce stress. Happy birthday, Kaden. Kaden, Kaden got his Lake. card. He's he got, six years old today. He he got his card. He's an old man now. <laughs> Kaden. Okay, so let's go ahead and stamp out the hang in there. This is a nice card to just send to a friend. You know, hang in there. You know, everyone's wishing Caden a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Caden. And of course, I got to add some. Um, let's see, I got a little scrap here. Let me stamp this out. See, Caden, once you turn five, turn six, you can't say. But I'm six. Oh, yeah, but you're not five. <laughs> <laughs> I expect more now. You're six, buddy, okay? Kaden? Expect more. Kaden's like, I'm going to have me some fun on my birthday. Exactly. You better have a lot of fun, buddy, today. Eat some cake for me, Kaden. Well, I don't, because I don't need to eat any more cake. Exactly. <laughs> you bought Tracy two cakes. We are caked out. This is one grocery yeah, store here in Georgia cute, right? called yeah. Publix, and they make a great birthday cake. They really do. I'm like, wow. I love wedding cake, and that's about as close as you can get without paying wedding cake money. <laughs> Publix does have a good, yeah, they're, they're good. Okay, y'all, so you see what I'm doing here? Just making something a little bit extra. Maybe I'll cut it all the way off. Who knows? Put my flower right there. Well, let's see. Hi, Crystal Talbert. Crystal, how you doing? Crystal. Okay, so let's go ahead and put some more stuff on here. Oh, thank you, Barbara. I'm glad you like the new sets. I think Yvette Daniels and Lupe may live close to each other. What? Some they crafty, around the corner from each other. Some crafty you know. crafting friends. Might work at the same workplace. Oh, okay, <laughs> Lena. We better keep track of that. Lena said, personally to us, Tracy, to be aware that some countries are not allowing any mail to be sent uh, to other countries. So, so apparently Japan is one of those countries. Okay. Thank you for that. the heads up on that. We'll, yeah, we'll check it out. Okay. 
I kind of like that flower up there like that. Kind of gives a little spark of color in the corners there. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do this. Just have that little little bit of color right there. Look at that, y'all. Hang in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna just take some of this paper. You see the scraps, y'all, right? The scraps I'm gonna take now. And I'm uh, going to cut some of these scraps out DVD. using this right here, this little punch. I think Saray Wallace sent me this punch, this little punch. I think she did. And um, she sent me a couple of them, these tiny little punches. Like, Sorry if I'm making, <laughs> and I'm punching away. Six. Look, if you ever want to relieve stress, just punch away. Tracy D. McKinney says, what a wonderful idea, Tracy. I, I know that I suffer with extreme anxiety with things going on in the world as they are right now. Any chance for us to reach out to one another is a wonderful thing. Yes, it is. So you don't feel isolated and, and lonely. I think that's why uh, many of you love the lives, too. Um, you've always told me this, uh, that y'all love us going live because it gives you some interaction. Um, it's fun. It, it's really fun. And um, it's just nice to craft along with so many of you. So I'm going to take some of these and just place them on here. Thank you, Debs. Deb C says, I don't usually go for pink, but this is gorgeous. And this is almost like a peachy pink. It's not like a pink pink, but it's like a peachy kind of pink color. Hmm. That's Daniel said, ugly fool, that mail is still moving because she's a carrier and she's still delivering. Thank you, Yvette, for your service. That's like being in the service, kind of. You know the motto, the rain or shine, sleet or snow and all that stuff. Susan Miranda says, how about a wink of Stella? I love stuff like that, wink of Stella and all the little... Stickle juices. Bill, you that. thought this Wink of Stella was a um. I thought it was a, a drink. drink. I did think it was a drink. <laughs> he sure I did. I thought because you know, I you know, there's this drink we like called Stella Rosa or something, and I thought this. Oh, was, that wine. Yeah, yeah, I thought this mm -hmm. was one a version of that or something. Tracy, why don't we get some Wink of Stella for dinner tonight? <laughs> you know, like that. And then go to the emergency room to have our. Stomach's pumped. Exactly. Marie Muscle says, crafting relieves her stress. Yes. You're right, Loopy. Loopy says, much respect to our mirror, mail carriers. Barbara Lane used to keep me a mail carrier in 2003. What happened, Mary? Uh, Barbara, you got chased by a dog or something and said, that's it for you? Or... That's what I'd be afraid of. Like a large animal or something. <laughs> I'm a hands-on crafter, y'all. This is my stress relief, is to keep, you know, be a hands-on crafter, you know? Please. I remember one time I had a job. It was a night job to go with the day job. You know, I don't know if y'all been there before, but it was one of those times. And I had the window down in my car. And I was throwing papers out to the to the streets, to the to the houses. And there's one house that so you have to kind of pull up and cut the car off, and you have to get out and go beyond this one bush. I stopped the car, and thank God I didn't get out because <laughs> I looked, I reached to get the paper, and as I looked over to the left, a big dog's head was literally in my window. Mm. And he was so big, from the ground up, he probably was at least, oh my God, he was up to, oh, he was a big dog, Tracy. I was so afraid. I was wanted to drive off. I was afraid to move. I, was, I definitely was afraid to do the window. And uh, so I stuck my hand up to the car, cut it on. He kind of moved a little bit. And I floored that thing. And I went as fast as I could all the way down the street. I only had one more house on that street. And I jumped out. And I, the dog was just racing down the street, galloping. He looked like a Great Dane or something. I threw the, the paper to the house, jumped in the car and drove off just as he got to my car. <laughs> I don't think I did that job much longer after that. You didn't. <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. 
When you told me that, I thought, I was like, Un- that's just like so unreal. He was so big, Tracy. Because you said he was really big. I remember. Okay, I'm like 6'2", y'all. That was the job that you had, Um, you would have to get up at what, 3 in the morning? Or something uh, like that? No, I had, like to get really up at, early. About, uh, I had to get up about 1. And I wouldn't see you until like... Until about 6, 6, 6 30, maybe? 7. Oh, my goodness. The dog came up about to the top of my chest. He was that tall from the ground. The things we'll do to, to just, you know. <laughs> Deb C says, I don't know which of you lovely people recommended that I try calling left-handed while I heal, heal, but thank you. It helped with anxiety and the crafting withdrawal. Oh, nice. Deb C says say something. I saw a person, something happened to their hands or something, and they were doing stuff with their feet that just that puts the average person's hands to shame. So where there's a will, there's a way. Yes, there is. Okay, so this handy tool right here, I am loving this, y'all, because it's like it can, you can pick up your little gems and then just put them on. Um, this is oh. the Marvy pickup tool, and this is actually back in our store for those of you that have been asking. I absolutely love this little tool. Barbara Lank, I'm so sorry. Uh, accident. Why did she stop being a uh, mail carrier thing? She was in an accident. Some guy ran into the back of her truck. Hit, oh man! Hit the car in front of her, and she was actually pregnant and lost her baby, which would have been her first. That's a sad thing, Barbara. We're so sorry. Tina Emery says, I just ordered these two stamps and three others. Love those stamps. Thank you, Tina. Thank you so much. They're really a great quality stamp. Um, and I like the fact that I could just take it right out of the box, go out of the packaging, and just be ready to go. Don't have to worry about anything else. I'm going to take this blue one off of here. Blue doesn't belong in there. Let's see. Green one. I was trying to go with just. I'm gonna leave that green one on there because it's got just a slight green to it. Just a slight green. Hi, Jerry Reed. Hey, Jerry. I haven't seen Jerry Reed in a second. It's good to see you. Hi, Brenda Bodwin. Brenda, how are you? She says she's feeling blessed. Happy tears. I got this today. What is this, an H? Happy tears. Teeny oh, Emerson. she must have gotten a card. I put that card in there. Oh. Well, there you go, Brenda. I forgot one, y'all. Y'all didn't tell me I forgot one flower over here sitting lonely with no gem in the middle of it. Barbara, says, <laughs> that, Barbara Lake says that card is beautiful, Tracy. Thank you. I hope y'all make some. This is so fun. Tina Emery says, next time, how about moving the dresser over and adding a purse to match the dress? You could do that, too. Yeah, that's what I would you do. Do that. <laughs> then I would put a motorcycle said, on it. Who said to do that? Uh, Tina Emery. Then Tina, do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she tells me, ah. Tina. Look how adorable. And that's just usually, see, now I've done no coloring on this. No coloring. Stamping on pattern paper, right? Look at that. Stamping on pattern paper. This one I actually colored it in. Oh, here's the other one here. Here's the other dress right here. Look at that. So cute. So much you can do with these. Look at that. Hang in there. Hi, Carol. So Curtis. for those of y'all that are just tuning in, these are the two stamp sets. His stuff and her stuff. Ooh. His stuff, her stuff. The Vita Peters says, you missed the dream, the gym. Where did I miss the... Oh, it can't, did it come back off? 
It don't looked look. like it came right off again. Levita, it came I off. I had just put Thank that on you. there. Thank you, Levita, for telling me. Carol Curtis from Western Australia says, hope you had a blessed birthday. I had a great birthday, y'all. It was awesome. And my husband sang to me. Oh, Brenda Bowers says, yes, I got it today. I have happy tears. I'm feeling so blessed. Oh, I'm so glad. Paper makes me happy, Brenda. And when I can share my paper and with you making a card or whatever with so many of you, I just, you know, I'm just glad to be able to give. It makes me happy. Y'all, I'm cleaning off my desk as I go. <laughs> I flew from a bowling at Creator Digital Design says, what do those dyes go to? Which ones? Hmm? I don't know. I know, right? Patricia Ross says, great, no coloring. Exactly. We're not using any dyes. These are all, um, this is the purse right here. I have a great doctor's report. It goes right here to this. And this one here goes to this. So these are not dies, these are just stamped out images. There you go. Okay, so let's. Thanks, Donna Joe. I'm glad you love it. Donna Joe said these are super adorable. I gotta let this one dry though. I'm losing my gems. Okay, so let's see. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna color in the motorcycle for y'all. Because y'all just love me to stay on here just a little bit longer. <laughs> uh, Kathleen German says pen, Tracy. Ooh, Tracy did do the it. Pen in the in the um in the box. <laughs> thank God it wasn't me. Y'all get out my craft room. Get get out my craft Kathleen, room. Kathleen, okay. thank God it wasn't me. Okay. Uh, y'all get out my craft room here. Y'all know y'all do the same thing. Look. And let me cover these up so I don't spill them out. I've done that before. That's why they're all in different compartments. Hey, y'all, if I miss people's comments, it's because I'm doing stuff in the back. Someone said it's buffering. So if it's buffering, refresh your screen. Okay, so let's go ahead and get the motorcycle. Uh, Do the it, motorcycle here. Elaine is asking, have you ever done a greeting card or embellishment with magazine pages? Like, like reusing them. I don't think I have. I've done it with um. If anyone is buffering, the envelopes though, the inside of the envelopes. Because we're not buffering on our end, but if you are, just refresh the screen. Let's see. Susan Renna and Jessica saying, "Add some glitter to the shoe." What shoe? Oh, <laughs> you could add glitter to the shoe. Yep, you sure can. The shoe on the stamp set, babe. You could add the glitter to this. I can see that. You could do a red shoe and then add some stickles or whatever. Oh, that's different. That would be nice. Deb C said she saw on a channel somewhere where they glued a magnet to the glue bottle so they don't lose the pen. Oh, I've seen that too. Then they lose just lose the magnet. <laughs> that's funny. Jessica says blue glitter. Oh, on the number one, maybe? I don't know. That's your card, babe, so you can't have blue glitter on there. Millie Reed says, how do you get happy mail? Usually people get happy mail. You have to mail. join the group, right? You're in the group, but the group is not specifically for happy mail, but you can ask, uh, tell them that you'd like to send happy mail to someone. Um, Maybe one or two people, because if you say, I'd like to send, who wants me to, wants happy mail? You may get a hundred people. You may get a hundred people. You'll never, <laughs> never keep up. It just won't happen. Ah, and then you just private message. Um, and then you could put where, where you want to, right, but you know, sure you... tell them where you are, because you don't want to, you know, you may not want to send happy mail so far away, but there's people who send happy mail to wherever. I live on the moon. Send me some happy mail. You know, something like that. And then it, you may not want to pay for moon shipping. 
I'm watching the male person outside. We turn it around like thing. She's making a U-turn. Okay, she may have forgotten someone. Okay, so let's go ahead and color this in. Let me show y'all. And I left space here because I think I'm going to use it for a card. Oh, maybe we'll oh she's out. dropping something off. Well, you better go check. Bill has to go check. Uh-oh. The Shut dog up, is in here. The you know dog is in do here, that. too. Okay. Okay, so I, for some reason, I see blue on this one, on the motorcycle, y'all. Is that possible? Can the motorcycle be whatever? <laughs> yeah, to me, happy mail is just because. Um, not with the expectation of saying, I'm sending something and I want something back. But, um, yeah. Oh, my goodness. My doggy is protecting the household. Do you hear my little doggy, y'all? <laughs> my, my little dog is just building outside to check the mail people y'all do y'all hear my little goober here gooby is barking up a storm my dog is really barking Sorry, y'all. We have the window open. <laughs> oh, somebody said my doggy. Here's your doggy. I know, right? <laughs> my little doggy is over here. Just you didn't lady, huh? The uh, it was a the mail carrier. The lady. She says this box is so heavy. Oh my God. She, what, well, she's what do you have in here, body? I said I have that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the tires kind of in a darker gray, not like black, but I mean, you could do black, but it's still, it'll still come out okay. Oh, thank you, Loopy. Any bet? Gooby was, he was ah, like, don't. He was ready to oh, protect he, something. He was ready to protect the household. Now, if he could just protect himself from the cat. <laughs> I'm yeah, telling that you would something. be okay, right? Anytime my daughter leaves, I get nervous because the cat is upset that she leaves. And she likes to take it out on the cat, on the dog. She does get a little attitude, doesn't she? Yes, she does. She is Bruce like Lee a, on it. a little person or something, you know? Thank you, Kathleen. They love your happy birthday song. Well, there you go. Oh, yeah. Bill did a good job, didn't he? I was trying to hurry up and get to the uh, oxtails. Yeah, you were. So I don't know what color I'm coloring the motorcycle, but it's going to be whatever color I want it to be. Right? Carol says, your dog is making my dogs bark. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Words, Carol's like, ah, uh, no. <laughs> Deb C says, I've never done Happy Meal. I have to try it sometime soon. Oh, it's it's really it's fun. It's actually fun, Deb it's C. Fun. And then, you know what? It's so uplifting um, to send Happy Meal to someone. And, um, I mean, for me, I just like sending, like, hey, such and such might like this. Or sometimes I'll be walking around Dollar Tree like, oh, such and such might like something like this, you know? As long as you don't think of it as an exchange. I mean, it's wonderful if you, if you, if it, it can be that, but think of it as a giving thing. Right. And if you happen to and many of y'all, yeah, many of y'all do that for each other, which is so sweet. So, so sweet. So I'm seeing blue on this motorcycle. Oh, yes. I just blue. see blue. Something about the blue. I think it's because it's Bill's favorite color, too. I think so, too. As long as something is blue, I'm in the house, okay? He's so happy. I don't know, what John did a good blue? job on this motorcycle. On the top of his head. I mean, really, I just it just amazes me. <laughs> he doesn't look at anything, guys. He really doesn't. And it's like, how on earth? He says he's, I think he's some kind of savant. For those of you that don't know, John is, is our artist um, who helps bring out the vision. He says he commits everything to memory from every angle. And he's always done that since he was a small child. Because yeah. Because he's been drawing since he was a small child. Yeah, so he just knows, you know, I'm like, I could not 
And we know how things look, but I cannot just all of a sudden draw something uh, from memory and, just and like that. Like, he just knows whole, what it looks like. And here's the real kicker. Understand it. He drew it like that because that's how Tracy wanted it. But if Tracy had said, imagine you're Leonardo da Vinci to draw me a motorcycle, believe me. He would have put every kind of detail on it. He had exactly right off the top of his head. Yeah. I'm going to match my little motorcycle here. I'm going to put like this blue right here too. Naomi says she lives in Puerto Rico and she's got a happy meal. Yeah, y'all are just so wonderful to each other. It's like a big happy family. Susan says it looks like an older motorcycle. It probably does. Now they probably have, a, what do you call those things? Tesla motorcycles or something. I don't know. <laughs> I still don't. You know, I know they got modern technology, but I, I just have to be, I have to drive my own car. It's something about knowing that I did it. I, I can't take a nap or something. Oh, you mean the self-driving cars? Yes, I, I just mm. don't believe in it yet. I know I should, but no, not yet. Maybe my kids' kids can believe in them. Okay, get my get a little bit more gray going on in there. Mm, maybe the I'm gonna use the lighter gray here. That's supposed to be the light. Okay. And let's see. One more little bit of blue in here. Is my motorcycle matching just too much? I could have done like a brown leather seat, huh? Oh. You can come out of left field, blue and just something just strange. Yeah, that's true. Yellow, you know, red. Uh... Oh, Gooby, you're so brave. That's my nickname for my dog, y'all, Gooby. Just no, so no, brave. Your nickname for him is Cinnamon. <laughs> His real name, apparently, now is Gooby. <laughs> he won't even respond to Santa. Yeah, he sure won't. He sure won't. Okay, so on here, let's see. Jessica says that's right. No rules. Hello, handsome Bill. I'm putting that hello. That sounds like a card for me. Hello, handsome. No, I'm just card. kidding. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. He's not kidding, y'all. Don't let the, that man. Elena says, you. "Can you describe that white paper you're painting into, please?" Is that the Nina? That's the Nina um, cardstock. This is the 85. Actually, this I think this one actually is the 65 pound because I ordered the wrong paper and I didn't want to send it back, but I'm still using it. So I'm actually coloring on a 65 pound paper. I love the 85 and up, uh, but this is the Nina white cardstock. And that's the 85 pound cardstock. This is a 65 pound, but I like the 85 and up. I like the um, 110 also pound card stock. So the higher the number, the sturdier the paper, the stronger the paper. Hello, handsome. The FC said, you need some red for the tail light. Yeah. Deb, when Deb posts hers in the group, I want to see it, Deb. <laughs> uh oh, Deb, you're going to fall. You're going to get you like you get me. Red would have been nice on there, huh? Next time. <laughs> Next time. Joanne wants to do Happy Meal so bad. She says she wants to get out and do it, but it's raining just so hard. Maybe next week. Barbara Link you and Kathleen German uses the 110 pound also. Yeah. Yeah, that's the if you're gonna do one. I usually use the 85. <clears throat> that's my comfort paper, but I do like the 110 also. Hi, uh, Stacy Spencer. Barbara Link has given you the ultimate endorsement, Tracy. I mean, Caden, who's a master motorcycle pro. Okay, he loves the motorcycle. Oh, I'm so 
glad so you like has, it. has approved and endorsed his motorcycle, folks. I want you to know it's a go. I know. Now, y'all see this right here? <laughs> on my paper edge, just so you know, on, on the edge of my paper, it's a little bit, like, tattered. That's because this blade right here needs to be changed out. So after we get off this lot, I'm going to change it out. Yeah, you see that little bits of, if you ever see that on your, that means your blade needs to be changed out. So as Brenda said, maybe distress ink around the edge. So I love distress ink. I like stuff that look like it's been around about 500 years or something. Yeah, you do. And you just found <laughs> it like, oh, look at this. Look how old and aged it looks. I like that kind of look. At first, I didn't know, I didn't know about the stress ink. And I used to mess with Tracy. Tracy, let's get some, some lighters and, and, and just burn the paper around the edges. You see, you are not starting a fire in my house. Mm. I Can y'all imagine that, right? But y'all know the look I'm talking about. He knows, yeah. And the stress ink kind of did it. Susan said, can you show us how you change the blade? Uh, let me go find a blade. <laughs> let me find a blade. Mm. Let's see. Uh, Bill, look at oh, I must tell Bill to look at my cart to find a blade. I think there might be a blade back there. I don't know what I'm in looking at over here. Let's see. Look in the bottom, bottom part right there. Here? Yeah, right there. See it? No. See the orange paper right this? there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. There you go. Okay. There you go. There's the blade. Believe me, I would not have Quick known it. Intermittent tutorial. Susan says, thanks, because I need to do mine, and I don't know how. Okay. I'm going to show you in a moment. I want something on the top of that card there. I'm going to put some I kind of Johnson. colorful paper on the top of that card. I'm not sure which one yet, but we're going to put something on there. Okay, so the blade. Okay, so let's, the blade right here. On this, this is the Fisker's uh, nine inch paper trimmer. So you see this right here? See that? There's a little opening right here. There's a little groove. I don't know if I'm getting close enough to the camera. You just take this and put it near the groove. Oops. Let me lay this down so I don't cut myself. That groove allows you to pull the blade out right there. You can't pull it out. You can't pull it out over here. You gotta pull it out right here. You see? So my blade is worn down because I use this a lot. And then you take the other one, right? This is the two pack. So it looks like I'm gonna have to go and buy another one. Okay, so you see that? Now you just slip it in there. Oh, make sure that's in there okay. And I think I got it stuck. There we go. I think I need to turn this around. Wait, wait, wait. Let me turn this around so I can see it the way I usually use my blade. Okay. Slip it in there. And it's in. Okay. So now we're good to go. So you just slip it right back in that hole and you got your new blade in there. Easy peasy. And just make sure that you dispose of this. So that... yeah. but, but someone has told me that you can actually use aluminum foil. Is that possible to sharpen your blade? I've never tried it before. I may have, end up trying it with that before I dispose of it. Mm. I'm just saying someone has, I think someone had mentioned that before. Okay, so now I need some paper. I'm going to use a dark blue somewhere in here. Let's see. Find some dark blue paper. Susan said, wow, that was easy. There you go. Just little tiny tidbits, right? Bill, you want to pick out your paper? You want me to just go ahead and pick it? How is he going to pick out paper for his card? I'm going to pick exactly. it Exactly. <laughs> No, but uh, <laughs> oh, Kathleen German says you can use an old blade for cardboard. Well, there you go. Now, that's a good idea. Yvette Daniels, get off the floor, okay? She's rolling, I think. 
<laughs> Y'all are funny. Rolfing. Who came up with that word? Y'all know I'm using that paper pack that I love so much, right? Barbara Link says, have you heard of Ink Cali Studio G? And if so, can she use that with alcohol markers? It says Ink acid Cali free who? dye ink. Ink, ink Cali Cali's Studio G. I've never heard of it. Well, Barbara's like yo yo. <laughs> Barbara, let Katie, us know. Katie, what should she do? Let us know. He said, as long <laughs> as she doesn't use it on a motorcycle, he doesn't care. Mm. Test it out on the flower, okay? <laughs> y'all are too much. <laughs> I'm glad y'all are having so much fun. <laughs> <laughs> she says she'll test out and let you know. Elena says she tried it. She used it for scissors, aluminum paper. It works, but only for a very short time. Oh, for scissors. Okay. It's a quick fix. So if you can't find scissors, you go grab aluminum foil. It's a quick fix. And after you got thoroughly frustrated, you throw it down and just rip it with your hands. Okay. Don't do that, y'all. Don't do that. <laughs> Get your lighter and burn the edges. If you happen to run out of this stress ink. There you go. Then, Bill says he's not a crafter, but... Then mm, have your mm. mate th throw you out of the house because you almost burnt everything down. You almost burnt everything down. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll send you a card to your new address. <laughs> <laughs> I'll send you a card <laughs> at the new address. You made me forget my measurements here. <laughs> Where's the new address? Don't know. We just know that it won't be here. <laughs> <laughs> that is hilarious. Okay. Now I'm going to need something up at the top. Hmm. Loopy says the card looks cool. Good ideas for Father's Day in June. Yes, it is. How can I get glue off of scissors? Mm. Mm. I usually like... peel mine off. I mean, I, with what? I don't usually let the scissors um, you let it, uh, go a long time with that glue on it. I try not to let these have any glue on it either, but I don't know. Bonnie Glover says, don't use old blades on cardboard. I put out freight, and the old blade would get you cut. A lot of the boxes are made of recycled paper, and they're the worst. Ouch. Mm. So Bonnie does this thing like a Level. Okay, so Bill, I'm going to have this message for you. That's a good idea. Susan. I'm going to put something in here for you. Susan says she would try Gooby Gone. That probably would do it. Oh, Gooby Gone. With that, yeah, and I have some Gooby downstairs gun. too. You take care of everything. What I call it? Gooby Gun. <laughs> I'm like, Gooby Gun? What? Well, y'all know what I'm talking about. about. The stuff. I know. We know what's stuff on it. Some message to Bill. It's Asia says relax. alcohol gets blue off of scissors. It also gets the scissors off of children. I'm just kidding. No, but alcohol probably will work too. I'm just going to stamp this out more than once just because. Oops. Dropping stuff here. And I want Bill to know <coughs> that he did a good job. So let me go ahead and use that too. Record, incorporate a little heart into this. I'm going to use this right here. Loopy says alcohol, if you can find any, can work. Okay, so for those of you that are tuning in late, we just released two new stamp sets. His stuff and her stuff. Two brand new stamp sets in the store. And I'm super excited because we got one for the men, y'all. So I'm going to put a heart right here, babe. See that? Yes. And then I'm going to go around it like this. You know, do my little thing that I like to do. Marlene Watts says Since it is your card. the name of uh, Gooby Gone with my dog's name. Gooby. <laughs> Gooby. Gooby Gone. Gooby Be Gone. <laughs> Gooby's like, what? What's the name of this stuff again? 
Goo gone. Gooby gone. Goo gone. Goo. Okay. Something. You know what? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Goo. We have some downstairs. Is it called Goo gone? Or, or we have some downstairs. Goo be gone. Because I use that to get the labels off the bottles. This is going to be cute. Look at this, y'all. Bill's card. And I'm going to color that heart in blue. Blue, y'all. To match blue. the motorcycle. Bill loves blue. He I had know. these blue pants one day when I when I first met him. Mm, he, I thought that was so cool. He wore these blue pants, y'all. You couldn't tell me one. And we were still dating, so I was like... How do I tell him? <laughs> how on earth did you come from? How on earth do I tell him? <laughs> Lord, do not. <laughs> Give me the strength to tell this man without him being too insulted. <laughs> it's almost the color of the motorcycle. Just about. No. Bill, those things were so bright. Those pants were so bright. I was just like, what? You couldn't tell me I was cool. On earth. <laughs> Bro, I see. I love the little heart you added in your bubble. I'm loving to make these. Y'all notice that I'm, this is my new favorite thing. The bubble and the stitching. I'm using up my little scraps here, y'all. Y'all, I'm focusing here. You I'm are, just cutting you are out. Quiet. Well, no, I was waiting for you to, to read the comments. <laughs> the name neighbor says, put a picture of Bill on the motorcycle and title it Blue by You. <laughs> you know? Cute. Cute. Lupin says, Tracy, cooking oil works also well for removing labels. I did not know that. Oh, that's a good idea. Y'all come up with some stuff. They got some ideas, y'all. What do you got do, some good just, stuff. You got to soak it in, rub it in. And do wait you soak it first, or you just kind of... Mm -hmm. I used to soak the bottles overnight, too. You have to wait a long time, or after 10 years, the label comes off. 10,000 years from now. <laughs> Yvette says, it's turning out so nicely, Tracy. And I'm not thinking about it. I'm really, I'm just, you see how I cut so high on that card. I was like, okay, what do I need to add in? And it, it comes to you. That's you, brief. The human mind can just figure it out, can it? Yep. Loopy says, all you have to do is just let it soak when rubbing it on the label. Wait about 15 minutes and then scrape it off. That's pretty fast. That is pretty fast. I thought you would say like overnight or something. Luke, how in the world did you find, come up with something like that? People know some stuff out here. Y'all know some stuff, okay? My crafty family knows some stuff. Loopy says she used old olive oil on a wine bottle. Oh. That paper really makes that thing look pretty cool. You tie in your little colors. Get me, Bill. I'm looking like something. You're looking like something, babe. As long as you don't wear them blue pants, so I can make it on the card. <laughs> <laughs> we threw them blue pants out quickly. Sure okay, did. hey, let's, let's go to Goodwill. <laughs> nah, like, you did not pants. say that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, let's go to Goodwill. Um, Bill, you want these Tracy, blue pants? Tracy, you see my pants? He's already talking about, ah, 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 <laughs> I did not, babe. Hi, Molaya. I'm going to put this here at an angle. I'm going to drop this down here at an angle. So I built the card, basically. I just cut around it once I, you know... No, I don't know. Just cut around it and then build it from here. You see, I cut this too high. 
mm -hmm. right here, but I want it to fit on that card base still. So I basically built the card around it, even though it had all that empty space. These actually almost look like clouds with hearts on them, don't they? They do. And little messages. And now, if you want, you can put one right here, too. Right where? I would do that actually before. <laughs> before I put that on the card, not after. I have all kind of words, all right. You do. Good, Good job. job. Relax. Relax. You deserve, deserve it. it. And hello, handsome. And so this right here, I'm going to just... Oh, wait, is that the right color? Let me just see. No, that one's too dark. Okay, this one right here. I'm just going to put a little bit of... Just to add something else to it. Now y'all have some male-inspired cards here. Carolyn likes the blue on your fingernails. Thank you. That might have been the same blue as that, those pants, huh? <laughs> no. Brighter. Okay, like that. That was cool. I'm sorry. Mm. Okay, and then you can say, hey, I don't have anything in that corner over here. Do not do this at home. You can, I can put some little hearts in here for him. See, baby, I'm putting some hearts on here for oh. you. And then I can make his lights shine too, like here. To give the illusion of shining lights. Well, this was fun. Well, there you go. I wasn't going to do the motorcycle, seriously. And then y'all just... Well, I just like the motorcycles. I like to ride them, I like to see them. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just like to see the motorcycle shows sometimes. You, I mean, I didn't go to them, but... Now, I'm not a good shadower, y'all, but I'm going to do this, you know. I'm not a really a good, you know, doing shadows under the bike and stuff, but just to give it something. Marlene Watts, you heard that yawn? That wasn't really yawn. He over there yawning, y'all. That's what I'm saying. Relax. You deserve it. The card made me do that. I just looked at it and started yawning. <laughs> the card made you relax, huh? Deb C says, thank you for doing this, Tracy. She loves it. Oh, you're welcome. Anytime I can... Now, I'm so tempted, y'all, to go around this with something. Uh-oh, like... I know what she's going to say. No, don't, don't, don't do it. It just seems like it needs that extra something. But then you're going to mess up my blue. How would I mess up the blue? I'm going to make a bubble around it. Oh, I yeah. think it okay, needs Okay, you that. can do that. I'm talking about <laughs> stitching on that blue thing. But I, I oh, don't. Susan Renda said, bringing back memories of riding. On the back of a motorcycle oh, at the ocean. Back of a motorcycle at the ocean. On the sand? Hmm. Oh, you know what I'll do on this? You know, this is what I'm going to do. Okay, so if I'm not going to do the other thing on this, I'll do like the halo effect. Right? Right around here. Although the bubbles will work on that too. Yeah. You know what? Susan says, no, Bill, not on the sand. Oh, that's like a modified. That's cool. Okay, I'll take that. So it's real subtle. Just a little. Mm -hmm. Just enough to mess with you. Y'all know Bill should have been sitting in his seat, right? Well, we're gonna we're gonna give him a break today, cause he's over there yawning. Your he done got real comfortable. When with I said it said relax, and I, I, when I read that, I just started yawning. <laughs> you just followed the message, huh? You see that, y'all? And the lights are flashing on there. Yeah, Bill. So cute. 
You can put the bike on a pathway. You sure can. Well, no, a little she's, shadowing she's, on there. Well, she, oh, no, she used to ride the, her bike on the pathway by the ocean. Oh, okay. But you could put do that too. Marjorie says, "Now you can go take a nap, Tracy." <laughs> This is my nap. Margie, this it's so relaxing. Look, this is so relaxing. Ten minutes later on the couch. So <laughs> on the couch napping ten minutes later. But if you say I'm so me. tempted to put this glossy accent on here. This part of the... What is this called? What is what called? This part of the bike. Yeah. I gotta ask John what this little part right here is called. Just a little it's bit. It's called the body. What if I mess it up, though? <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Bill, that's funny. I gotta squeeze this out a little bit. I need a bike pro. Somebody's gonna tell me what this little the thing right here. here. Like okay. the engine. Oh, Susan said it's the gas tank. The Susan gas tank. Knows about well, motorcycles. there you go. It's the engine. <laughs> What's said, this part right here? Susan, is that and part? And then you the got gas? one in this part and this part right here. Now the top part is the gas tank. But that bottom part, we don't know what that is. We don't know what that thing is. Somebody knows. I feel it. And I lost my pen. Susan, Naomi, and Carolyn know, know the top. Exactly, Marjorie. She said it's called the front. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I call it. It's called the metal thingy at the side of the bike. <laughs> Susan says it depends on the model. Well, this is the model oh, wow. 4X TYZK. Mm, he just coming up with Kamakuchi. Uh, <laughs> motorcycle. Now, what is that part? <laughs> <laughs> Carolyn Bice says it's the engine, but that's what we're going with. That's what I thought. That's how it's something that it could be. Okay, so I got to let this dry once I get this on here, but I'm going to start with this heart here, y'all. Just gently squeezing this out and just letting it flow. Yes, Susan and Carolyn say it's the engine. Hi, and then I'm going to, I feel comfortable enough now where I can put some right here. Right? Just a little bit. I'm still new at using this, but hey, I'm just going to go for it because my crafty friends won't mind seeing me do oh. this. See that, y'all? And when it dries, oh my goodness, I love that when it dries, it just, it makes this nice illusion of being, having dimension to it. I love dimension. Is there somebody else outside? Oh, no, it's somebody else. Okay. Ariel. Okay. Uh, DFC says it's that. called the Duma Fluchi. <laughs> Y'all know a little bit too much about motorcycles, okay? Is that for real? That's what it's called? Carolyn Weiss uh, and Susan Miranda. Susan, is what did I saw? The motorcycle or what? Or that juice stuff? Oh, no, this there. is not. I sure look for it. But I'll put the ink, the ink, the link to um where I got it on Amazon. That stuff is really good. Look at that. DDN says yes, it's the engine. It has a you heat. can really keep going with this stuff, you know. Just that little cool. bit here and there. Okay, I'm gonna stop while I'm ahead. One more thing. That's what I would call it, Debs, the thing of a jig. <laughs> yeah, look at that, y'all. So, Bill, your bike came out so adorable. Uh, I can sit here and make a couple of cards, huh? Hi, Louise Cassia and Catherine German. All right, y'all. So there it is. All the cards that you can make. Got your masculine cards. I don't want to put that on top of there. You got your his stuff and her stuff cards all the different things you can do with that uh we don't have glossy accents in the store yet Marie Muscle. i am looking for them that's for sure Susan but i'll leave the link your cards thank Ashley you Hammond loves it too Bunch thank of people you i appreciate love that and so just to get you give y'all one more look at the stamp set thank y'all for hanging in there and joining us we really had a good time making some cards so happy friday to all of you thanks so much uh for joining us really appreciate y'all there is a 10 percent off on the his stuff and her stuff stamp set uh until uh sunday 
Sunday at 11.59 Eastern, right? Yep. So go ahead and get your stamp sets. I can't wait to see what y'all create. I, I hope you were. What people make. I hope y'all were inspired. Um, and we'll see you real soon. Susan says she feels relaxed now. Awesome. So y'all go relax, go create, you know, get your mind, you know, just get your mind off of stuff. There's so much stuff going on right now in the world. And just know that I'm praying for y'all. Y'all stay healthy. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.